Consider three athletes standing at the face of a river, all three trying to get to the other side. Depending on their skills, their gear and their timelines, all three are likely to take different approaches. One may choose to simply swim, the other may choose to sail, and the third may consider rowing. At the end of the day, everybody has the same goal though. Everybody wants to get to the other side. Similarly, when dealing with government compliance, everybody shares a common goal to do business with the American federal government. And NIST, FedRAMP and FISMA represent three ways to do just that. This is much easier said than done, of course. The world of compliance was tricky enough to begin with, but if you want to do business with the single largest buyer of goods and services in the world, the US government, you'll have to learn everything there is to know about these three frameworks. So today, let's do just that. Let's deep dive into NIST, FedRAP and FISMA, understand what they are, how they're different and what they have in common. At the end of the video, we'll also talk about how you can get compliant with all three of these frameworks. Let's start with FISMA. FISMA stands for the Federal Information Security Management Act. FISMA is a federal law that was introduced in 2002 and has at its core one single aim. It requires federal agencies to develop, document, and implement an information security and protection program. That is, take information security seriously. FISMA applies to three types of institutions. Federal government agencies, one. State agencies that administer federal programs like Medicare, student loans, etc., two. And three, all private sector firms that support federal programs, sell services to the federal government, or receive federal grant money. Simply put, if you're dealing in federal government information, you're under the Federal Information Security Management Act. In order for private companies to work with a federal agency, they need an ATO or an authorization to operate. An ATO is granted after a five-step process. We'll go through them now. One, identifying which risks you're taking on, which is often a product of the federal agency you want to work with. Two, you'll build out a system security and privacy plan, followed by three, an assessment, and four, a post-assessment review of your SSPP. Once you're clear, you'll get an ATO and move on to step five, which is building a plan of actions and milestones to ensure you're ready for any future risks and changes. It is important to note here that FISMA is a one-to-one -one arrangement. If you work with one federal agency, you need to get an ATO from them. However, if you expand and work with another agency, you will need a brand new ATO from that new agency and so on and so forth, so third, fourth, fifth federal agency and beyond. FISMA's specific requirements come from three documents. The Federal Information Processing Standard 199, the Federal Information Processing Standard 200, and NIST 850, which we'll get to in just a second. A FISMA assessment can be performed directly by the agency that's granting you the ATO, or by a federally recognized third-party assessment organization. Next up is FedRAM. FedRAM stands for the Federal Risk and Authorization Management Program. Take a trip with me. The year is 2011, and the federal government is trying really hard to go cloud first. FedRAM made this easier by presenting a centralized security program for cloud providers seeking to do business with the federal government. FedRAM spells out standards for security assessment, continuous monitoring, and authorization processes, and essentially acts as a seal of approval for cloud service providers, also known as CSPs. FedRAM applies to a broad swath of companies, including any cloud service providers. So that includes any SaaS companies, PaaS companies, and IaaS companies. It also applies to contractors, subcontractors, and organizations that provide services to CSPs that work with federal information. Unlike FISMA though, a FedRAMP ATO does not need to be acquired individually for each agency. You get a FedRAMP ATO once, and as a cloud service provider, you are now allowed to do business with any federal agency. That convenience though does come at a cost. Because of its far-reaching scope, FedRAMP certifications are far more rigorous than FISMAs. The final piece of this puzzle is NIST. You've heard of NIST 853 before. We've mentioned it in this video. We've done a bunch of videos about it. And you may have heard of it through external feeds. In any case, let's do a quick crash course. NIST stands for the National Institute of Standards and Technology and is the body responsible for developing the 853 standard, along with several other popular frameworks like NIST 8171, NIST CSF, and more. NIST produces standards and risk assessment frameworks for a wide range of subjects, including cybersecurity, and is the backbone for a range of government compliance frameworks, including FISMA, FedRAMP, DFARS, and more. A hyper-simplified metaphor to understand this relationship between NIST, FISMA, and FedRAMP is to consider FISMA and FedRAMP as books, and NIST 853 
as the dictionary. You are asked to get FISMA and FEDRAM compliant. And when you want to understand what that entails at a control level, you refer to NIST 850. If you'd like to know more about NIST 850, there's a video in the top right corner now where we explain the framework in incredible depth and detail. It'll answer any questions you have. So, what are the differences and similarities between FISMA, FedRAMP, and NIST? Let's tackle the differences first, starting with who needs to be compliant? FISMA is meant for all federal agencies and companies that work with these federal agencies. FedRAMP is more specific. It's meant only for third-party cloud service providers that host federal information. NIST 853 is compulsory for all operators of critical infrastructure. That includes federal agencies and private companies that work with these federal agencies. The second difference is who verifies the certification. FISMA ATOs are required from each individual federal agency a company works with. FedRAMP ATOs in comparison are a one-time effort and must be performed by a FedRAMP approved third-party assessment organization, also known as a 3PO. NIST 853 technically doesn't have a certification but external auditors can assess your compliance against its many, many controls. The final difference is probably the most nuanced, what they are. FISMA is a federal law. FedRAMP is a program. And NIST is a non-regulatory agency that offers guidelines and standards in relation to cybersecurity, like NIST 853. So what are the similarities between FISMA, FedRAMP, and NIST? The first is their focus. All three are fundamentally aimed at improving and ensuring the security of information systems, with a specific focus on the American federal government. The second similarity is what they allow you to do. Like we mentioned earlier, all three of these frameworks are ways to be able to do business with the federal government by standardizing cybersecurity processes and postures for companies. The last similarity is their influence. While these three frameworks are meant primarily for federal agencies and private companies that work with these federal agencies, they are massively popular in their own right in the private sector. Private companies will often get compliant with one of or all of these three frameworks of their own accord, simply because of the depth and breadth of security they provide. The focus on constant visibility along with the adaptive nature of these frameworks means that organizations will also have to shift the way they get compliant from the old paperwork, human assisted and manual approach to a more digitized, automated and integrated method of compliance. If you're looking to get compliant, there's a couple of ways that Spinter can help. The first way is with a free NIST 853 controls checklist that you can find in the description and in the comment pin below. And the second is Sprinto. Sprinto helps thousands of companies leverage compliance automation across several frameworks like NIST 853, CSR, FedRAMP, SOC2, ISO 27001, and so much more, so that companies can get compliant faster, easier, and more inexpensively. Continuous monitoring via Sprinto's centralized dashboard means that you stay compliant too, all year round, not just during an audit cycle. To know more, visit Sprinto.com or book a demo with one of our cybersecurity experts using the link below. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you find this video useful, remember to like and subscribe. Or better yet, share the video with somebody that you think might find it useful too.